this is a follow-up video to a video I made a few months back about my reptilian experiences and this video since then really you know other things have developed so I thought I'd make another video to follow up from follow on from that to move on from where I left off in that video probably around October of 2018 you know I talked about being in a, an ayahuasca ceremony and a, a bull reptilian had a had appeared in the group and accessed the group through a person in the group who dropped their head and who didn't really face their medicine. So it's important to face the medicine. It's important to face our stuff, not slouch, not fall down, not lie down. And that goes across the board in all of our life. You know, the difficult whoever, spouse, boss, kids, whatever you want to call it, to be honourable and to, to see. Now, it takes practice and it takes time to be able to be in the state of mind, even if we're fucked up, to be able to say, okay, you know, I'm going to look at this. I'm going to observe myself in the present moment, not when you get to the fucking ashram, but in that present moment and see what's going on. Why, why is this presented to me? I'll work through it. And that's what I teach people, basically. So I don't want to go into all that. That bull male I had a back and forth communication with and... You know, he was quite aggressive at first, but I remained, if we can remain centered and in our power, these are quite honorable beings. But they'll take, if we're offering our power, they'll gladly take it. <laughs> Just as humans will, they'll walk all over you, you know. So reptilians are kind of like humans. We have, you know, we have Yeshua Ben Joseph, commonly known as Jesus Christ. And then we have Hillary Clinton. <laughs> So there's, that's that's the scale we're dealing with. It's the same with reptilians. We have beings that will fucking eat us alive, <laughs> devour us and our babies, and drink all the blood that they can get their hands on. And then we have we have reptilians who are trying to move beyond that and trying to raise their energy and frequency, just as we are. But we are more heart centered beings, despite the fact that ninety nine point nine 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 percent of us still have very you know our, our hearts are not fully open let's say i don't i don't I no longer see the world as like oh my heart is open or my heart is closed or your heart is closed your heart is open no there are degrees and on any given day in any given moment how we're feeling what's going on we close ourselves and we open ourselves we're either more available to the world or we're not more afraid and we're whatever so it takes work you know when i hear someone say oh my heart's now open i've connected this chakra to that generally i tend to kind of think bullshit i i a lot of that stuff doesn't really resonate with me maybe it's because i'm not there yet or maybe because it is bullshit i've quite a good bullshit detector but let's go with because i'm not there yet that that deflates my ego so they're working with us there are uh, groups of reptilians that are trying to move beyond the lower frequency stuff they're evolving just as we are we're trying to evolve beyond fucking waving flags you know and, and going to church every sunday and listening to the local priest who's abusing and all the altar boys so we're trying to take back our power as well if we could just stop voting <laughs> if we could get away from the media <laughs> and politicians we'd probably we'd just take off you'd probably you'd ascend right in that moment it's like oh my god <laughs> i am god <laughs> Barack Obama's really just an asshole. I am God. We could just do that. But let's it takes its time. <laughs> it's quite a journey. So anyway, moving on. They're trying to evolve and raise their energy too. So they're working with some of us. And some of us are are them as well. You know, as I touched on, I think, or talked about in the previous video, my understanding or awareness is that I am a reptilian being, that I'm living a, uh, if you like a parallel life as a reptilian. So since that video, I'd have more awareness of myself. You know, what I look like. I see my skin or my hands or scales or face. I have more contact with the being that I am. I also have more contact with other reptilians. And I now try to work through that, tr towards that on a, a daily basis to put in time to strengthen that connection, that muscle, that awareness. When people are looking to make contact with other beings, what I see is they often, they're just giving their power away so i'm going to refer to a book called kalask which is a, a school of reptilians um a group of reptilians that have moved or are moving away from the lower and i listened to some interviews on youtube of other people who run youtube channels who interview this 
Kalask group that is channeled channeled through a human through this guy and they can be I find very submissive and it that doesn't really resonate with me I I feel if you're going to any entity or being or your encounter you need to learn to be in your power and that doesn't mean be aggressive or afraid it just it it's it takes practice really to find that place of assertiveness there are a fucking multitude of billions of entities out there that will gladly you know feed off us or take our power and we're, we're coming kind of coming through a phase although there's still a huge amount on the planet that still will listen you know recorded a video about entity removal or attachment removal plenty of people who give their power to these people it's a great business you know and look at cults or religion and politics is a cult as well like the the democrats people blindly will you know worship the reptilian hillary clinton or barack obama or donald trump like fucking trumpism the trump train it's all just it's just a cult it's giving power giving power giving power the more we can center ourselves and be in our power we don't fucking need any of these people you don't you're not hoping that any of them passes any legislation to to help us or to stop the war or to feed the hungry or to whatever you don't fucking need them and the more of us that can move into our own power and be centered we don't need it from we don't need any other human to placate us or to to well i'll 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 give you gay marriage or abortion rights or i'll give you one percent of your tax back <laughs> oh thanks <laughs> thanks master overlord reptilian i work all week so you can give me one percent of my tax back we can move into a place of power that we can then have our own money or our own freedom we can choose where that goes that's liberation so take that mindset into any encounters with any entities or beings too same with reptilians you don't really know who you're dealing with unless unless you're you know really well schooled and i'm not I'm not that well schooled like any uh, encounters I still I still remain in my power and I still ask questions and test the water I don't know enough I'm not experienced enough that reptilian from the group last October he reappeared about three weeks ago in an ayahuasca ceremony and presented himself to work and again I, I in the medicine I tested him I you know I, m my awareness was that he was honorable he was ready to work straight after him you know we had a co conversation he came back he found me and he returned but after he stepped back another reptilian with what looked like I think I mentioned this in another video you know we, we, what I uh, I basically I my laptop died a few weeks ago. <laughs> I lost a lot of stuff and I lost a lot of videos that I recorded, and the memory the way it is I never know if I'm repeating myself anyway. But this this reptilian had what looked like neon lime green lights behind features of his face like his eyebrows or his cheekbones, but he had a hood over, like a kind of monk's hood, so his face was kind of dark except for these and a bit of shadows of his face and he was very close to me and again i said you know you gotta remain in honor and to test him i said like you work under me you'll be a student of mine and he bowed and he got down on his knees and he pulled back his hood and bowed his head in a submissive or a, a respectful manner so i placed a hand on his head and then there was a kind of an, an initiation work and just soon after that we raised the energy part of my work was to kind of raise the energy in the group and as i did that those two hung on and other reptilians around the outskirts of the circle had to leave they backed away because it was too much and that's really what we're seeing on the planet the energy is raising some people can't handle it so they're projecting and they're going on marches and they're trying to stop the bankers or they're trying to stop us eating meat or they're trying to stop whatever and they're basically projecting and blaming the capitalists or the corporations or whatever and, and really if we can if we could take all that out there and look within and clear our own stuff that clears the out there so we need more people to be doing that to be looking within and working within so 
since that ceremony, I've had more contact in the evenings. And I, as I said, I set aside time now in the evenings to contact or to be aware and open to communication and strengthen the muscle. And a big part of that practice for me, which is also separate to my reptilian practice, is opening my stomach and my solar plexus, softening that and allowing that flow. So, which I'm talking about, and I'll talk about another time, is you know the, the raising sexual energy and bringing up that kundalini energy to allow it to reach the heart and throat and so on is to be aware of the connection and softening that and not holding that. And men especially, I, I believe, can hold, but it's worth checking in, you know, day in, day out and see, well, how do I feel? What's going on here? Am I holding? Am I tight? Am I tense? But for me, I would hold because I, I would have grown up afraid, very afraid, you know, afraid of my family, afraid of my old man, afraid of schools, so tense, guarded, closed chest, closed stomach, you know, afraid of people. And now it's undoing that and relearning to be soft and to be open. And being open means, oh, it means taking in all the love and light and fluffy stuff and the sunshine and the beautiful people and the beautiful energy. And guess what? It also means taking in all the violence. Oh, and the rape and the pedophilia and the wars in Syria and the dead bodies. We're allowing all of that to wash through us. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Click. How many people just switched off? <laughs> That's it. Get away from your duality nonsense and, and come with me into non-duality. It's all God consciousness. Get away from the judgment. So it allows the process to allow all that to wash through us process all of that but then maybe a couple of weeks ago i discovered a book called kalask kalask k-a-l-a-s-k it's on uh, amazon and it has what i think is sorry reptilians a silly image book cover and i thought this could be nonsense but i read it it's it's very good i don't agree with everything in it it doesn't completely entirely resonate with me but a lot of it does. I'm going to read you some excerpts from it with permission from the Kalask group. Perhaps it's worth me just acknowledging them in this moment for them presenting this work. The reason I'm reading some of these is they really resonate with me and those who've kind of followed some of my other videos and articles will see that they're kind of saying what I've been saying for quite a while. Uh, so obviously what I would read would kind of make sense or resonate with me. So here we go. If you just shun the dark and don't want to be involved, it can actually attract darkness because it becomes your polar opposite. You see, you will not just attract something that is similar to you. So keep that in mind. This idea of love and light and focusing on the lovely stuff. If, if there's a resonance beneath us, if our shadow is unresolved, which in most of us is unresolved, it's still attracting, it's still drawing in these experiences. So this is another piece. You have to go directly through it. Face the fear. What exactly is it that makes you afraid in this regard? The mechanics are very simple. You are connected to the things you fear. They are you. The dark is part of you. When you realize this, you will have power over it instead of it having power over you. So when you are saying you are afraid of the darkness, it is like saying you are afraid of your left arm. Light and dark, left and right, warm and cold, male and female are all just aspects. And you have the ability to relate to all of them to an equal proportion if you wish, at least from your higher selves. So that's you know pretty much what i've been saying over the last couple of years we are it don't run from it face it work through it on the same note here's another piece because when it comes to ascension you are not necessarily moving from the pitch of dark in hell to the heaven and light it's not like this you integrate both polarities and move to a new place altogether a place that you are co-creating with everybody including us so that's, I find that very interesting. You know, it, it, it is so true. Uh, and that's why I'm suspicious of a lot of the fluffy spirituality on YouTube and out in the world. Because it wants to go to the fifth dimension. We're going to go there. <laughs> the ships are going to come and they're going to take us. 
that's more distraction you know you may as well be watching netflix series every day or tv all the time it's it's more escapism it's fantasy it's not real we need to integrate both sides all of what's presented here's another piece reptilian energy in general is very grounding you can also connect more to the earth energy and your root chakra with this the worry will subside as soon as you will embrace it while you are in this state i'll read that line again the worry will subside as soon as you will embrace it while you are in this state so often we tend to try and get out of the worry i'll get to a nice place and then i will go to my retreat in six months it's like no like another video i've made in ceremony about ceremony when you're in this state that's the time to work to carry on with that piece just allow it to come up it will crop up again and again until you are willing to look at it you are calling this shadow work we believe be willing to shine light in the shadows okay a little bit on the darkness of reptilians let's not paint them all as wonderful beings but they are wonderful beings but they're also aggressive and violent or can be some can be so this is from the book we have also been preying upon other life forms similar to that many people in your world are eating animal life forms we have been eating physically and drinking blood and also nurturing us on energies from other entities so that's what they've done you know that's where the, the satanism on this planet comes the political and elite and royal satanism reptilians are and, and other energies feed upon this the actual blood drinking and eating of humans that does happen these beings are trying to move par past that we're a party to that as well it's our shadow it's a reflection of our shadow what we are not looking at and not addressing to return to the shadow stuff the hardest part of your ascension process as we see it is the integration of your perceived evil or rather shadow aspects it is only through love that this is possible as it transcends whatever might lie between parties so there's two more pieces that i just want to add to this before i wrap it up about fear when you are afraid it is always something inside of yourself it never comes from outside not your parents not your government not your bosses or teachers not your friends not your spouses nobody it is always inside of you now there are some of you that believe this concept to be very isolated everything is a reflection of you but nonetheless beings around you exist and even though they are a reflection of you it does not mean that they do not exist and yet again whenever you are afraid of loneliness it is always just a feeling in the relationship to the same fear that you feel towards aspects of yourself that's very interesting and another piece the final piece also if you connect to entities outside of your planet or non-physical entities it is always a co-creation it is never just single-sided like one approaching the other it is always to a certain degree a mutual interest like a business transaction you have the desire to create a good business deal for yourself but you cannot create a business deal at all if there is no desire on the other end even blackmailing would still be an interest on an energetic frequency so as i've been saying there you know my soul retrieval article or there is is no spoon article and video talks about this that these are all contracts these are all agreements for me when i read this you know it's very uh it's inspiring it's wonderful because i i arrived at this myself it just kind of came through me i remembered pockets of who i was i remembered how to perceive the world i remembered who i am I didn't read it in a book or learn it so then as i discovered jung and kalask and some of these kind of things and some of the sages to to see that this was already an established view was wonderful it just confirmed what i was seeing from much greater minds and beings than my own i think there's quite a good bit in this video it's a long video but i think there's a, especially those quotes so the kind of things you know i highly highlight these things that i can read them again and again and contemplate them and i and digest them but i hope that was of use to you to just give a bit more depth to reptilians anyway i'll leave it at that uh, i'll put a few links below to ver these various things and uh, enjoy your day thanks for listening